More than a dozen people are now behind bars after a drug bust stretching from Morgan County to Indianapolis. Fox 59's Eric Graves talked with the DEA about how authorities say they then followed the drugs back here to an Indianapolis fentanyl supplier. An investigation that started with fentanyl and meth in Morgan County eventually led DEA officials here to Gable Drive on Indy's east side, where they say a serious violent felon was supplying meth out of a house here while being on house arrest with an ankle monitor. Convicted felon Desmond Valentine, seen here in a mugshot from a July 2021 arrest for aggravated battery, is who DEA agent Michael Gannon says was a fentanyl supplier in Indianapolis. In a case like this, is super important to identify these people that are putting that debilitating, destructive drug and lethal drug out on the streets. Gannon says Valentine made his first appearance in federal court on Monday. According to the DEA, Valentine was dealing drugs out of a home here on Gable Drive on the east side while he was in community corrections. Gannon says Valentine was on house arrest and had an ankle monitor. They're out there conducting drug trafficking activities while they're supposed to be on house arrest. Gannon and the DEA began the investigation in Morgan County, working with the Morgan County Sheriff's Office and Martinsville Police. And you had fentanyl, you had opioids, you had methamphetamine. Gannon says they arrested 14 people who were dealing those drugs across Morgan County during the investigation, calling it a big bust. You had 14 people in the Morgan County area, and they're reaching out to individuals who are sourcing them with uh, dangerous drugs that are uh, destroying communities. Gannon says those arrests eventually led them to Indianapolis and Valentine. Gannon says authorities arrested Valentine on a traffic stop and then got a search warrant for his home where they found drugs and guns. Convicted felon looking at firearms charges and possession uh, with intent to distribute fentanyl. So some serious charges. We reached out to Community Corrections to ask about its client being charged with these crimes. We're told they're looking into the issue further on Tuesday. DEA officials say this doesn't necessarily mean the investigation is over here. They're always working to connect a drug investigation to the highest source possible. Reporting on the east side, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. Eric, thank you.